everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, today, or yesterday, uh, the mill came and dropped off some wood for us with these, you know how they use the forklifts to to uh, get the forks under the stuff and pick it up. And they had this, so this is some two by four material. I don't know if this is what this is. It looks like maybe some oak, some four quarter oak, I guess. I'll have to look at it. But then they had this piece right here and it's like, it's one of those pieces of wood that just catches your eye. Let's take it over here and check it out real quick. Okay, so I think this piece of wood is a piece of poplar. Uh, I don't know too much about pop poplar, um, but I do know that it has some bark right here. It's kind of furry, I think. I, I like it. I want it to stay on there, but if I have to cut it off, I guess I will because it's kind of coming up. Well, maybe that's just tool marks from the mill. They just shoved it through and made it go so I'm gonna trim it all the way around on the on the joiner get all rid of all these machine marks and the furriness and see if I can um, get get to square up a little bit so I can glue it up better all right hey uh, meet me over at the the joiner I'll, I'll show you some tricks That's definitely a piece of poplar. Uh, poplar has white and green grain. You see the green in that? It looks brown from where I am. Anyways, uh, it is definitely a piece of poplar. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna figure out what is, uh, how many times four goes into this stick real quick. So we have 42, nice even number. 42, that would be 10. That would be 10, 12, that would be 12 uh, cuts, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine-ish cuts. Nine cuts would be an even kind of like rectangular thing I could get some stuff out of. So that's probably going to be pretty decent. I think four inches is going to be a good size bowl. All right, I'm going to cut it down, see what it does. two halves glued up let that set up in the for an hour and then I'm gonna glue them glue them, glue them all back together like this but crank and then I'll have a blank it's only gonna be five and a half by five and a half but it'll be a it'll be a little project let me check out this uh, poplar see how these green stripes come out inside the bowl maybe they won't do anything but yeah let me check it out uh, my, my two pieces are glued up I'm gonna go ahead and glue it up again um, with the stuff here, tight bond. It is the tight bondiest bonded thing that you could ever get. I'm just playing. It's hot in here. It's hot today. <laughs> it's like 104 today. Yesterday was 107 in here. So the brain starts to fry a little bit at these temperatures. But you just have to learn how to take an AC break every once in a while. So I'll just take an AC break and get some cold water, some cold water. Okay, I'm gonna let this set up overnight um, to dry, holy cow. Let it dry and cure up. And then um, as I was cutting it, I had four extra pieces because it's not gonna make, this little piece right here is five, you know, so if I was gonna make it, this, it would just still be like five and a half inch whatever it's going to be. I don't even know what it's going to be yet. So, uh, but I have four pieces left over. So it's hot in here. So, uh, I got the four pieces and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with the four pieces and we'll see what happens with that. All right. I got to get out of here. Let's go take an AC break. Okay. Well, I got a little ahead of myself and forgot to videotape this part. So I took, uh, I took this and trimmed it to square. I just made it square. 
these pieces are bigger than those pieces. And I took my four pieces, like I said, and I glued them to the outside of it. So the back side of this looks like this. What is this gonna be? I don't know. I'm gonna stick it on the lathe and see what happens though. Um, so this has been glued up for about two hours, this part right here. See the glue right there? It's pretty dry. It's been in this in this shop, you know, it's pretty pretty warm in here. Not that today it's not so warm. It's only gonna be a hundred today in here, so uh, but you know your glue is dry on the inside when when that on the outside is almost dry. So I'm gonna undo this and uh, uh, it's like 10 o'clock here, so I still have to, to work today. 10, it's almost 11. I still have to work through the day, and then tonight I'm gonna take it home and put it on the lathe and see what it does. There it is. What is it gonna be? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. All right, well, I'm gonna stop playing with it. I'll sit here and cure up all day, so we'll see you at the house. Last night I got home, found center on both sides, and then I was looking at it, and what am I going to do with this? Obviously, I'm going to turn it, but if I turn it, there's no way I'm going to get these these um, edges out of the, out of the uh, corners. So, I was like, well, I don't want that, so this will be round. You know, and then it'll be square here. So I was like, well, I'll just, I'll fill in the, uh, I'll fill in the corners with a um, herringbone pattern just to fill it out and then figure it out from there. So that's what I'm doing now. I got these scraps. We made some flag holders for our boxes. Um, and this has just been, it's been re -sawn. So I got a bunch of these mahogany sticks that I can glue on there and stuff like that. So. Uh, I'm gonna cut these up real quick. I just have to find the right size for for that right there, and then cut them and glue them and cut them and glue them. So that'd be a good project for sitting around, sitting around doing nothing. All right, so I'm gonna cut all these little pieces up, and then I'll show you the glue up. Okay, so the other thing that I was thinking about was from here to here, it's not very, uh, it's not very uh, tall. So I'm gonna glue this. This is a piece that came off of this side or one of the sides, this side. So I'm gonna glue this piece to here so I can make a tenon so I can grab it and figure out how I'm gonna work this side also. So I'm gonna do that before I start gluing this in. That way, because um, it's gonna be hard to get that clamp around all that so i'm gonna clamp four corners here boom 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 and then be done okay and then i'm gonna start cutting up this stuff <laughs> okay hold on wow save some glue for the rest of us buddy golly Get you some. Okay, so I got that piece glued up. It's been on there for about uh, 45 minutes. Usually you should probably let it sit for an hour, but this gluing process is going to be, uh, no, nah, maybe not as extensive as I think, but um, if uh, I'm just gonna show you the uh, the first round of gluing. Uh, this is going to be a herringbone pattern, so it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, you know, in and out, in and out. Da, da, da. You'll see. If you have, if, if you haven't seen this glue up process yet, it's just go to my um, video, uh, wood turning a herringbone bowl. It's a really nice bowl. It came out really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, and you know the video, but it, th that shows you the the it, the the glue up process. It takes a long time. So I'm going to show you this. If you notice, I have a number one here. Where is it? It's a number one here. And I have a number one here. So these thicknesses are different because when I glued them up, I didn't think I was going to do this. So I just glued them up. Otherwise, I would have tried to center them and get them closer than they are. But it's okay. It just took a little bit of measuring, a little bit of time to cut these pieces. So I'm going to glue this one like this. 
and then that's the number one and this is number four so three six four so I'm gonna glue I'm gonna glue um, one and four together and there's some glue right there so I need to clean that up maybe I'll do that real quick okay well I looked up and my camera was off so I don't know what you saw before but this is I'm gluing this up <laughs> oh geez lost footage and don't know where I am at in the in the um, expl explanation of these little sticks so the, I'm gluing these sticks up they're numbered um, number number boom boom I'm gonna glue them up and um, anyways um, these are just I'm just flushing this this stick up with this thing here and then number eight here is just gonna flush it up with that there and then I'm gonna start my my herringbone pattern off that so it should be fairly interesting we'll see what happens it's all just just all having fun right now just there's that's all we're doing we're not really this is just some some wood being glued up and um, some weirdness and we're gonna make some stuff so I got that, got the clamp on that, and I'm gonna clamp this like this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all four sides. I'm gonna let these things glue up for about 15 minutes and then continue clamping them all day. And um, so they'll, they'll, they'll be constantly under pressure all day. So I think 15 minutes will be long enough to get a good um, set and then put the next pieces on and then clamp it. And it'll always have pressure so it's it's not going to be really i think it's going to work i know it's going to work you know why because i already did this before for six five or six hours on that other video go watch that please it's a really good bowl okay let that set up for 15 or so minutes and i'll come back and then i'm not going to put you guys through this cold glue up process again Watch that video. I mean, not right now. Watch this video and then go and watch the herringbone video. It's a good bowl. Okay, well, there's the final glue up. Um, I got it on all four sides. Or five, yeah, four sides. Um, there, there's a little gap right there, but I think once I do it, I, I have an idea of how I'm going to turn it. So I think once that, I just turn it, this, this gap, and this is like an inch and a half, inch and three quarters thick. So hopefully by the time I get down there, and I'm going to shape it out and stuff, so um, that gap will go away. But there is uh, one problem spot, kind of like if you did, if you do watch that other video, you'll see that my other um, um, herringbone had a, had a gap, a couple of gaps in it. I think that's one of them there. That's, that's going to have to be full of CA glue. I'm not sure if that one is yet. We'll just have to turn it out and see. But, um, so that's glued on there. I'm going to let this sit up, over, set up overnight and cure. Um, and so, but um, I scribed a, uh, a, a circle around it. And um, it, it's going to end up right there. So I'm just going to take my saw, my hand saw, and cut these corners off just to make it easier. So I'm not chunking around and uh, splitting this off, you know, breaking this and... and you know, making it worse. Okay, well, I got it trimmed up as much as I can. It's, it's you know, pretty good. It's going to be a lot easier to turn than all those jagged points coming out. And, you know, so. Uh, and, and all of it is angry. so there's more chance for catching and, and um, you know, stuff like that. So, anyways, this is what's... Uh, I'm going to let this sit overnight in the shop and uh, just let it let it uh, cure. Let the glue, glue cure and then I'll turn it in the morning when it's a little cooler outside. Alright, well, I'll see you in the morning. It's going to go like that. Okay, well, um, this video is at like 14, um, 14 minutes right now as we speak. So um, the rest of this video is going to be quick. I'm going to turn in high speed. Um, I'm going to knock this bowl out. I'll try to make this video under under 20 minutes. But it probably ain't gonna happen. So, but I'm gonna try. So no more talking here. I'm gonna turn this out. I got a good idea for it. 
We'll see if I can make it happen. I hope it does. Shiny. Okay, that's all the sand you get. Okay, well, this is the second coat of sanding sealer. And uh, I'm going to buff it out with some steel wool. This is the patented EPOP, the unpatented EPOP finish. And um, here it is. I'm gonna uh, buff it out with some steel wool. This is a little more coarse than I like to do, but I'm just not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. I'm just I'm just smoothing out the the, um, the ridges and the um, the stuff, you know. And then back here, would you look back here? Look at back here. Oh man. Okay, I got a little bit back there because um, this edge right here was this edge was uh, I had to like come back here and round it off. And anyway, so you buff it out a little bit, make it a little bit smoother. And then, you've seen this before, haven't you? If you haven't, go through my, my videos and look at them. Man, you'd be entertained for hours. <sighs> okay, let me go down here and you pick up some of this. This is actually the, the um, curly cues that I got off this bowl. And so, uh, then you put your curly cues in here and you burnish them this isn't really my finish so I'm just I'm copying it so that's why it's so unpatented because I didn't come up with this finish but I saw somebody do it and I just I'm claiming it but it's cheap it's effective and it stays shiny look at that shine 
It goes like this. <laughs> Look at those. Oh. This bowl was fun to do. I had a good time doing it. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and share. But look, everybody, if you could just push that bell next to the subscribe button so that when United States Air Force right there flying over Texas. Um, so, uh, yeah, push the, uh, um, the, the bell. So every time I, I post a video, you'll get a little in, uh, a little uh, notification saying, "Hey, Epop put another video up." That'd be awesome. It will help me grow my channel and uh, keep making videos like this. Ooh, I guess it's done. Let's look at it. You know what? Let's go look at it in the sun. Ooh, doggy! Look at that thing. All right, I'm gonna take this off and we'll see it in the sun. Okay, well there it is in the sun. It was a good, fun turn. Um, had a good time with it. There's the back side. So, it looks like a little mushroom, I think. A little fat, squatty mushroom. That's pretty cool, too. Those. The inside. Okay, well. Remember, if you're not having fun, do something else. Life is short, and uh, you need to have a good time. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Remember, push that little bell on the uh, on the uh, subscribe button.